guys, how's it going? Welcome to Tech Life, my name is Julio. Um, wow, okay, week 13. Let me recap just a little bit more on week 12 because I don't think I spoke a whole lot about it. Uh, week 12, we dove into MySQL databases and we started to learn how to uh, reach into those databases with um, some command line interfaces um, using Node, uh, basically using applications that we create uh, in Node in the command line. Uh, that's actually what I was working on right now was my homework um, that I have to turn in this Saturday. Um, I'll show you guys that real quick just to give you an idea of what, what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, surprisingly for, I think the class was mixed. Um, some, some students were having a really hard time uh, understanding MySQL and I guess how to apply it. I was lucky enough that I I kind of understood it pretty well. It, it didn't seem that hard. It just kind of made sense to me. It, the flow, I, I, I don't know. Um, I didn't have that hard of a time. Let me show you real quick what I'm talking about and uh, then we'll go into a little bit more on week 13. Okay guys, so <clears throat> here is uh, some of my homework. It's a database that I created right here in JavaScript, um, but then I basically just take that code and dump it into MySQL and then it creates uh, this Excel type database of uh, products that I made up. I gave each product um, a department name, home decor, electronics, and then a price, and then a stock quantity. So what my uh, application does here, this is a, a command line interface. It's just an app that's right here in the command line. So I'll show you real quick what the app does. Um, you can see right here that it prints out an ID, a product name, and the price, right? So this is where you could, and then it asks you to make a selection by ID. Now, this is not how the information actually comes back from the database. Um, the way that it actually comes back I'll show you, I'll break out of this. I'll clear it and I'll run it again. So you can see that this is how the information actually comes back. It's uh, an array. You can tell that, you know that it's an array because of that little square bracket right there of different objects. And you know that these are objects because of that bracket right there, a little mustache. So this array of objects, what I did was I, right here, I have a for loop and this for loop goes through each one of these objects, which is an index. So this object is index one, this object is index two, not because of that ID. I'm sorry, this, this object is index zero, one, two. Um, and then I just concatenate some string information with what I want out of the object to make it look like this. So what I mean by that is right here I have ID and then I concatenate it with the response. All of this is the response. I is each index of my response and I, I get I from the for loop. So this could be zero, which would, which would refer to this index right here. If I made that one, it would be right here. Same thing, two would be this, but since it's in a for loop, and I gave it the variable i, it just means for every spot in this array, I want the ID information. And then I concatenate it with ID. So that's why I have down here, ID one, two, three, four, five, because that's what I told it to do. And then I concatenate it with a little space, which is that space right there. And then same thing, product. And then same thing, I want from from my array, from my response array, I want for every single index, I want the product name, uh, micro SD, men's shirt, men's pants, and then price, same thing, response, price. So instead of having this ugliness right here that the customer would have to look at, I can just make it simpler by having it just like that. So let me delete that. Oops, break out of that. 
And then when I run the application, it's something usable like that. And then the user just has to pick an ID. Uh, we'll go with uh, we'll go with number one because I like Mavic Pros. How many do you want? Now, so what it's going to do now is it's going to take the response, um, and I'm using something to ask these questions. I'm using um, something called Inquire, and uh, it takes that response of nine, and then it it uh, turns it into an integer uh, using parse int, and it's going to compare it to the number of products I have in my database, which is 10. So if I have enough, it's going to tell me quantity in stock, sale total is $7,191 for nine Mavic Pros. And um, I haven't finished this part yet. Uh, that's I took a break to make these videos, but what it's going to do now is that I'm going to go back into the database and basically reduce this number by nine items so that it's down to one and basically update my database essentially. Now, um, if if the user were to have chosen the same thing, one, but they wanted a thousand of them, which I do not have in stock, then it tells the user insufficient quantity in stock. Um, they get to choose again. Oh, sorry, no, I want eight of them. There you go. Quantity in stock, 8,392. That is kind of a recap on week eight. That's the stuff that we learned. I left out obviously a lot, but uh, that gives you an idea of, of what week eight kind of, or week eight, week 12 covered. Okay, so back to my whole, week 13. Week 13 uh, has consisted of node servers and yesterday we got into Express. And I will tell you guys, that yesterday was the first class where I walked out and I was like, I have no idea what we just did. Nothing went in. It was a lot of information and it was, it was a, at a good pace. Um, yeah, I was like, I don't know what, I don't know what we just did. There was, two, I walked out of class knowing two things. Um, a get request is to get things from a server and a post request is to post things to the server. That was it out of three hours. Um, so what I did, and actually, you know, that reminds me of a comment that I read. Uh, it may have been a comment in one of my videos, I'm not sure, or or it was a comment that I just found somewhere about Trilogy uh, Bootcamps, and SMU Coding Bootcamp falls under the umbrella of Trilogy Bootcamps. Um, but somebody made a comment that, you know, after about, once you hit about the halfway point, that it gets too difficult and the pace gets too fast, and they said something about like the TAs or teachers don't care about you. I, I don't know why people keep saying that, that is not true. <laughs> I think they like work even more with us now. But anyways, um, I kind of see why they made this stuff about it. They were complaining that it does get harder because it does. Like, it is definitely ramped up and the pace of information and the, the amount of information um, is a lot. And when I walked out of there, I was like, man, no clue what, what just happened. So what I did was I went home and, and I studied for a couple of hours and I went over all of the material I use some supplemental resources that I have that I use for specifically for Node and Express, and it made a world of difference. Um, after after studying it, like I I understood what we were talking about in class, um, an idea of how to apply it. I mean, trust me, I still have lots of questions, and I I didn't master Express all, all of a sudden, but compared to how I walked out of class and how I feel today. Um, it's like, you know, night and day. And I say that because boot camps, boot camps are hard. Like they're hard in the sense of the amount of information that, that comes at you. And you have to dedicate time to do it. Um, you know, don't, don't expect to walk out of class knowing everything and you can just stop. So the, you have to teach yourself a lot of, and I've said this in other videos, you have to dedicate the time to study and go over the class material. That's what I did, and I feel so much better. That's that's pretty much a recap of uh, what's going on right now. Oh, uh, let me say thank you again to the subscribers. I really appreciate you guys doing that. It's helping me out. Um, if you remember, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. Uh, so 
right now I'm at. But I do appreciate uh, everybody that watches the videos. And, um, and one thing that I absolutely love are getting comments, especially when people um, you know, tell me that they just found the channel and stuff, so, and that they were considering going to a boot camp. Yeah, please, if you have any questions, let me know. I am more than happy to try and help you out, make, make a decision. I have a video where I discuss if you should go to a part-time or full-time boot camp. I'll uh, put that in a card right up there. Comments, please. I love answering your questions um, and trying to make videos out of them if, if I think they apply to everybody. With all that said, uh, make sure you subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye.